Hey, hey guys, this is TechX, and today we're going to be looking at some outdoor 3D printed objects. So you might be thinking that most people would want to print something like this that's more for decoration or not as good for outdoor use, but I think you should stay tuned to find out if that's really true. So looking at a couple prints, this isn't these aren't gonna be all of the most successful prints. These aren't gonna be all of like the these are just the prints that I picked out on Thingiverse that I'm like, hey, those might actually look good. Those might actually function. Um so these are just my opinion. Uh there's probably other things out there, like I saw camping stoves and stuff, but I just think those will I, I, I don't know. I didn't really have the materials and stuff to test those and I I just thought those are gonna kinda burn up. So there's a lot of other cool things out there, um, like um, figure eight hooks or whatever, and um, some some rope tighteners, rope, rope adjusters, stuff like that. That you can that's a lot more useful. Um, just in the scenarios that I was testing, I didn't have the objects to test those on. But some of my some of the more interesting ones that I picked out was a tent stake. So this is actually the first one that just didn't work whatsoever. It might have been because of my infill, I don't know exactly, but it just ended up turning out to this. It just smashed. So I think it might have been the inf low infill, but also this was printed into PETG, which is a lot more, it's supposed to be a lot more, uh, it's a lot stronger than say something like PLA. Um, but as soon as I hit it, like the second time or third time with the hammer, it just kind of shattered. Uh, so this is definitely not good for durability. The best thing to do is go to Walmart or something and just pick up, um, just pick up like a metal stake for just a couple of cents, and that's probably a lot easier, a lot cheaper than getting something like this. So the next thing that I printed was a survival whistle. So this, this is also printed out of PETG. Um, you can hear in this video here. So you can see that that wasn't um, that wasn't very it wasn't super loud. The first video was um, the first video was from like me standing right next to the microphone, and then the other one was from maybe a little over 100 feet away. So it it was definitely a little bit louder in person, but it was kind of hard to operate. But uh, cheapness wise, it was pretty good. Um, I don't know if there was anything affecting it. Maybe there was some stringing on the inside, but um, yeah, it just. It was it was okay. It wasn't the best, so you might want to end up getting another whistle. I don't know. I didn't look into how much whistles cost, but for effectiveness and just the idea and creativity, it was it was a pretty good print. So I mean, that that was a pretty good print. The next one that I printed was probably my favorite. So this is a carabiner. So these things are pretty nice. The fact that you can print these and just assemble them right off the printer bed really quickly, and they work. They're strong. Um, they're just, you can duplicate these like, like crazy. These are super easy. They're, they don't take long to print at all. Just load it up and there you go. You can see here that I, that I just, I just clip, used it to clip on a tarp. Whereas I might not have had something like that before. Um, I might not have been able to clip it on. I had probably would have had to use bungee cords or something, but I got this thing, one in each corner, super cheap and easy to print, clipped it on and... Um, I was back in business. Um, but again, these are not for climbing, the mountain climbing. Don't want to see any people like trying to use this for mountain climbing because that's not that strong. Like, just don't be stupid. But it's great for um, just common uses, especially in like your backpack or something. That's great. One of the last and final things that I 3D printed, which was pretty cool and I think it was very customizable, is actually a 3D printed windmill or wind turbine, whatever you want to call it. It was just this, just this blade here, just this prop. So the the guy that made this, he ended up just getting a different motor than this one that produced, I think it was about 1.4 volts output when spinning. Um, but it was great 
because I'm, I'm like, hey, that would be awesome. What if you just, what if you just attach this to the top of your tent and say you're higher in altitude and you got a lot of wind? Well, now you can just the super cheap print attach it to the top of your tent, and you can then um, you can attach it to like I have a capacitor here, or you can attach it to um, like a, a charging circuit or something, making the may, maybe make the prop a little bit bigger so you get a little bit more energy, um, and then. I don't know, you could run a light off of it or something, and it's it's just a pretty cool thing. Like, I uh, might look into experimenting more with that. So, uh, for now, that's pretty much all the 3D printed gear that I have. Um, if you guys have any if you guys have any suggestions for other gear that you'd like to see printed and tested, let me know, put it down in the comments. And I have a design challenge for you guys. So this isn't, this isn't, um, this is, there's no really reward or anything for it, but I have I had the idea. What if you could create? What is your what is the best piece of outdoor gear that you can create? The most useful piece of outdoor gear. So it, may, it could be like a GoPro mount. It could be a more effective carabiner. It could be a more effective whistle. It could be like super just making something that's super cheap, effective, and um, super useful. Maybe compact. Um, like again like GoPro mounts and stuff like that something outdoor something that somebody could use outdoor and it would be super helpful thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you like this if you want to see more leave a like if you want to see more videos reviewing 3d printed objects or if you want to see me testing other 3d printed objects but for now hope you guys have a great day thank you so much for watching bye